there is no right if you look at the constitution of Kenya and the laws we have in this country to be gay, to be a lesbian, to be transgender, or to be queer, which is what the, the, the Q stands for in LGBTQ. To the contrary, we should read the provisions of Article 45 of the Constitution. First, it places the family at the very heart of the society. In fact, what it says is that the family is the fundamental unit of the society. At sub Article 2 of Article 45, it says only people of opposite gender can marry one another. And that is the law of Kenya. I'm aware this thing is in all government offices. This thing is even in parliament. This thing is even in the media. This thing is percolating all over. But I want to tell the people imagining we can uh, withdraw because I've been receiving threats mm. telling me Kaluma withdraw from that enterprise. Mm. Tell them to study my history with matters concerning the family. Mm. Yeah. We brought down the slave queens the other day. Mm. <laughs> Kaluma brought the marriage act which mm. has consolidated all marriage laws. Mm. Up to the time we brought the matrimonial property act Kenya was relying on 1882 laws of England on matrimonial property. Mm. On family, there is no backpedaling. And don't call me to say I'll not go to your country. What, yeah. do, what do we lack in Kenya? Yeah. You can cancel your visa. Mm. Yeah. I was a short while back in a foreign country. And you can imagine being approached by a fellow man <laughs> asking me to go out and, 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 and mess with him, sleep with him. <laughs> And the guy has the audacity to tell me I look nicely round. <laughs> Can you imagine? What a level of perversion. Mm. So, so I'm telling our people that this is an enterprise which is going on. There is no reverse gear and it is going to succeed. On the day this bill is going to be tabled, it is going to be Kenya versus Sodom and Gomorrah, the other side. Yeah. Anybody who will rise to oppose will belong, and Kenyans will see them, to Sodom and Gomorrah yeah. immediately. Mm. And us Kenyans will fight very hard, and I know we are more mm. than the people of Sodom and Gomorrah mm. sent in this parliament. I know we will succeed. Mm. So I, I appreciate what is happening. The bill has been drafted. We are now waiting for parliament to move forward. But as we do that, we want to encourage our institutions to know that they exist for Kenya, not for foreign powers. Do you find it any coincidental that that determination by a majority of the bench members in the Supreme Court was handed down when uh, the first lady of the United States of America was yeah, arriving yeah. in Kenya? It's not a coincidence. Yeah. Is it coincidental that then you see her giving us some 16 billion for hunger? This hunger of ours which um, you know, uh, makes people think our moralities can be bought. Uh, why don't we have measures to end it? And, and, and remember, imagine even if you are a child, the Supreme Court rightly says these things are criminal acts in Kenya, they're not just sins. But then the Supreme Court goes ahead and says that the association of these criminals still has to be registered. What are you talking about? What a contradiction. It's like telling uh, convicts, murder convicts, you can register murderers association. What will stop terrorists from approaching the NGO's board yeah. to say we also want to be registered? What will stop rapists from saying we can now be registered? Yeah. We are going back to that Supreme Court, and I'm encouraged by the position taken by the churches. Yeah. Because people think you cannot appeal to the Supreme Court, but you can go back for a relook, yeah. yes. review. Yeah. And I take courage in the fact that only three judges of the Supreme Court decided so. Yeah. Two dissented and two were not there. We are going back to that Supreme Court mm. with the religious organizations, the yeah. churches and everybody, yeah. and we are going to request the Supreme Court in their full bench of seven in number yes. to review that position. And if they don't, mm. then I want to remind the Supreme Court and our court system to begin reading where they derive their power from. Yeah. Mm. The people. They are exercising the delegated power yeah. from the of the people of Kenya not some perverts or their external funders. We may not even end at disbanding that Supreme Court, but we can have a law because the Constitution also says nobody 
no authority, including the Supreme Court, has the power to make any provision with the force of law, mm. other than this parliament. Okay. So if we don't succeed in that Supreme Court, there will be a provision mm. in the bill we are going to propose mm. that will deregister, if they would have been registered, any organization encouraging or promoting this vice. That, that, that is our position. We want the education sector to work around it. We want the law enforcement to do their work. And we want everybody to be on the alert, more so for their children. For truly, these are the future of our society. But this is a battle we must succeed on. And it's a battle that anybody pushing it down our throats will never win. If it is what will make Kenya poor, I don't think Uganda is any poorer, having passed it. I've read the Constitution, people are saying, ah, what right? What we are saying is that we will arrest you if you engage in these uh, criminal acts in Kenya. And when we take you to court, we will give you your right to fair hearing. Yeah, that's the right. So get your lawyer, we will give you your right to fair hearing. That is the right you have under the Constitution. If you mess up with your bodies, you hurt yourselves in those unnatural behavior. <laughs> we will treat you subject to your paying for it. Yeah. We cannot treat you for free because you have a right to Medicare. Yeah. But we need to protect our system so that the society really is sanctioned. I'm very happy with my church, the Catholic Church. And I'm very happy with the other religious organizations, including the Muslims, the Hindus. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that uh, the church is, uh, you know, voicing their moral position and their position as an institution in this church. I thank you very much. Thank you.